do their work on their own for a couple of minutes before we start moving them. Now even the colors from the cup are out. Now we will tilt very slowly, otherwise the cells will lose their shape. At this time we will just leave it here and if you want to see what happens when we uh, when we use heat on it so I'll quickly get my heat gun as you all know I hardly use any heat when I do fluid art because now it's been long that I have been doing this so my cells occur without any problem so my heat gun is here it's a Wagner heat gun. Guys, I have mastered this technique so hardly anything happens when I use heat over my pour now we have to be very careful while moving this I am teaching an eight year old today so he will be moving the canvas I always uh, make sure that I keep extra bit of paper or butter paper or silver foil so that uh, the drips can be caught until unless it's a very big canvas I save the paint so I am just getting my paper here which I have kept to save the bits okay so we'll remove the cups because the paper was just a light paper and uh, it won't stay on the cups so what I'm thinking is uh, we'll just take some parts of paint from here and we can just cover the sides like this so that we do not have to move the cells a lot. And then while we move the cells around we need to make sure uh, if we are going to lose some of the cells I think I will just put a hint of white color here 
so as to help my paint move and I have my spatula guys it was just a squirt of dimethicon that we used And now let's let's just help these paints with the spatula and it will only move on its own then. So this is how this looks. I am loving a little bit of white here. I am going to leave it like this and if we just take care of the level, this will dry like this only. So I am loving the overall effect and I have got some nice big cells. And my yellow has uh, vanished because we just used a little bit of it. It might slowly start to show up, but yellow paint, take any brand, it is uh, heavier than the other colors, so it tends to sink down. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. This was a fairly the easier one. And uh, I'll be back with another one. For any questions or queries, you can ask me and uh, comment under the video. All my dried pieces which are available for sale are on my Instagram, which is with the same name, Asmi's Art. So you can inquire about purchasing my pieces there. I do have many, many more pieces there. Some resin, handmade uh, jewelry boxes, coasters and trays, etc. I am also venturing into jewelry now. So a lot of functional art items from me. Keep watching guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.